Lecture 41. Ever pondered upon the enigmatic nature of luck, or the seemingly uncanny balance of the world? Today we delve into the depths of this intriguing concept. Picture this, a person who's been a victim of misfortune may see the world as unjust, a playground for evil and injustice. They might feel like pawns in the hands of nature and society, used for their own purposes, and that fate always favors someone else. This perception stems from a violation of their personal balance, without understanding the bigger picture. The global processes. This person's perceived injustice then transfers like a baton in a relay race from one person to another. To the recipient it seems like the world is unjust, but in reality, this entire chain is evolution, the restoration of global balance. In the grand design of infinity, success always follows failure. We are this world and our desires possess the power to change the future. The natural order has the strongest kill and consume and the fragments of the victim transform into germ cells, reborn in the best forms. Death, as unnerving as it may sound, is part of evolution. It is the subjugation of alien particles for the sake of survival. Consider those who are lucky. To them, the world seems perfect. In actuality, the world is ideal for everyone, but everyone gets only a piece of the ideal. As humans we've distanced ourselves from death and murder. Our consciousness has expanded, enabling us to feel the unity of the world, and our imagination has grown voluminous. If in the past, people couldn't comprehend how one could live on the other side of the planet without falling off, today, many grapple with the notion of living in the endless process of limitless space. Their consciousness is limited by the goals of evolution. They are merely instruments with a predetermined destiny. Our minds serve as a scale, maintaining a delicate equilibrium between local and global balance to coexist with the world without compromising consciousness. However, instincts often suppress the mind, creating a virtual world with images that are a far cry from reality. This is why cells sacrifice themselves for simple actions and people kill over words, commit suicide and die in wars because of misguided ideas. Our society is akin to an organism with virtual principles and laws that have learned to exploit instincts and the images they evoke. In summary, the world is a complex web of balance and imbalance, luck and unluck, evolution and death. Our perceptions are shaped by our personal experiences and instincts, often overlooking the larger global processes at play. Our minds, while powerful tools, are often suppressed by instincts, leading to actions and consequences far removed from the reality of our existence. The world is ideal for everyone, but we each only get a piece of this ideal. 